take you back six months ago today when we were seeing this, if you can see that right there, <laughs> all snow, slightly cooler temperatures as the blizzard of 2022 hit the area. It was January 29th. The roads were empty with travel bans issued throughout the area. Governor Dan McKee even announcing snow plows were taken off the road for a while because the visibility at times was so bad. President Joe Biden issuing a major disaster declaration as some areas got between 15 and 30 inches of snow, just white out conditions, Tony. But then it seemed like a week or two, it was just all gone. Yeah, some uh, some melting a couple of weeks later, Mike, but uh, quite a storm. I remember, you know, leaving work after obviously a long day and a long night only to get stranded on the road. This, the travel conditions were very, very difficult. And then here we are the summer of 2022 with a, a worsening drought, you know, been looking at some new data and it really does not look promising for the next one to two weeks in terms of the pattern favoring you know widespread beneficial rain if anything we've got a, a potential for the season's second heat wave next week so i want to go over a lot of stuff here as far as heat and and precipitation it's quiet across new england right now cloudy skies in new bedford we've got a, a couple of showers to our north and west out towards connecticut we'll show you that in the doppler radar i want to show you the medium range forecast now this is for august 6 through August 12th and it shows the eastern half of the country and especially from the upper Midwest through New England with temperatures running well above average. Now as far as rainfall the most uh, during that same time period August 6th through the 12th favoring out west with the near normal to slightly below average rainfall here in New England. Now when we take a look at the drought nationwide I mean look at all of this coloring of yellow, orange, red, and brown. This all indicates drought conditions. It covers like 70% of the country. And here in New England, uh, it's been upgraded as of yesterday to a severe drought. And while we'll get some showers for tonight, it doesn't look very beneficial. So here's the breakdown. Overnight tonight, a few showers. Uh, lighter inland, a bit more towards the south shore. Maybe a quarter of an inch of rain is about the best we can do here. It's gone by daybreak. It's warm and dry for this weekend. And we are seeing signs of not only the lack of rain next week, but the potential for the season's second heat wave starting Tuesday into the weekend. It may reach its maximum by next Friday with temperatures close to 100 in some locations. I'll show you that in the seven day forecast. It's in the upper 70s to low 80s right now, including 81 in Providence. Somewhat humid, but that humidity will drop quite a bit this weekend. We take a look at the wider view and there is beneficial moisture just offshore. It looks like the th thrust of it's going to stay just to our south and kind of uh, nick the south shore overnight and then elsewhere just kind of scattered like showers. When we take this into the future, notice how the bulk of it is essentially offshore and then notice by tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. It is pulling away with increasing sunshine, decreasing humidity, a bright, dry, warm day with temperatures that are actually topping out in the mid 80s and a dry, comfortable Saturday evening, Saturday night. So for tomorrow morning, any showers around 6, 7 a.m. ending, increasing sunshine. We should get up to about 85 degrees. You'll notice the humidity a lot lower, so it's warm, but it's dry. The afternoon uh, featuring temperatures in the mid 80s. Beaches with sunshine, air temperature 82, water temp coming in at about 75. Bay forecast has a dry northwest breeze coming in at around 5 to 10 knots. All right, seven day forecast, and this is what we don't want to see here, uh, but not much in the way of rain next week and the potential for the season's uh, second heat wave. Uh, starting uh, Tuesday and extending through Friday of next week with temperatures well into the 90s. Mike.